Hi, my name is Eric Morgan, and this is Jay Schmidt, and today we're going to be talking about collecting facial EMG. EMG stands for electromyography, which is the recording of the electrical activity of muscles. By examining specific muscles in the face, we can determine components of the facial expression which are indicative of emotional response but might not be observable by the human eye. The first thing to do in collecting facial EMG is to gather our supplies. To collect facial EMG, we need alcohol prep pads to clean the site, abrasive lotion and cotton tip applicators to abrade the electrode site. Be sure to check the expiration date on your abrasive lotion. Gauze to clean the site. Adhesive collars and reusable electrodes. If you have multiple sizes of reusable electrodes at your lab, ensure the correct size is present. Conductive gel and syringes for filling the reusable electrode caps with the gel. Again, be sure to check the expiration date. And finally, a meter for checking contact impedance at the skin electrode interface. We will start by preparing the electrodes. You'll need two electrodes per muscle you plan to measure and one additional electrode for ground. We need to apply adhesive collars to the cap on the electrode, which will be used to attach the leads to the subject. The collars are adhesive on both sides, so remove the plastic on one side, exposing the adhesive, and place it on the cap so that the hole in the center lines up with the center of the cap. We find it useful to align the tab on the collar with the wire to keep both out of the way. Next, we need to fill the cap with conductive gel. We'll use a syringe to control the flow of conductive gel as we fill the cap. Take the syringe and fill it with the conductive gel. Doing this at an angle will allow the air to enter, making it easier to fill. Once the syringe is filled, it's time to fill the electrodes. Be careful not to over or underfill the cap with gel. You want to fill it until there's a small bubble of gel emerging from the hole in the center. Facial EMG sites are very close to each other, so close that the collars can touch. If the electrodes are overfilled, it can result in bridging of the sites with gel, which will result in unusable data. We're going to repeat this procedure for each site that we're measuring, plus one additional electrode for ground. Once you've done this, gather the rest of your supplies and we're ready for the subject to arrive. We are going to go over measurement of three muscles in the face, zygomaticus, corrugator, and navicularis. The zygomaticus muscle is located on the cheek. The corrugator is located along the eyebrow and the abicularis is a sphincter muscle that circles the eye. The ground electrode balances the baseline voltage between the subject and the amplifier. This keeps the signals within the measurement range of the system and reduces interference. Each independent device or module needs a separate ground connection. In this case, all three channels are on the same module and so only one ground is needed. We'll start by placing the electrodes to measure zygomaticus. Begin by washing your hands or putting on gloves. Next, clean the area with an alcohol prep pad. There's no need to rub too hard. Cleaning the area with alcohol after abrading the skin can be painful, so always do this first. I'll then ask my subject to pull the corner of their mouth toward their ear. Watch where the muscle activation is. This is the line upon which you want to place your electrodes. When asking your subject to do this, it's important to refer to the motion in terms of muscles, not emotions. The first electrode goes about halfway between the corner of the mouth and the junction where the jawbones meet. Take a cotton tip applicator and apply a small amount of abrasive gel. Then gently abrade the site by twisting it between the index finger and thumb, applying light pressure to the site. This will leave a red circle of grit on the site. Leave this grit on the skin as it will act as a placeholder. Now abrade the second site, about a collar width lower on the same line toward the corner of the mouth. Once both sites have been abraded, 
Take one of the prepared electrodes and remove the final plastic cover, revealing the adhesive surface. With a single motion, take a gauze pad, wipe the grid off, and apply the electrode in its place. Now, follow the same procedure for the second site along the zygomaticus muscle. Notice that the leads are placed such that they are directed away from the eyes to minimize interference with the subject. Once both electrodes have been placed, twist the leads and drape them behind the subject's shoulder. Now that we've placed the electrodes to measure zygomaticus, we need to attach the ground electrode. The ground electrode will be placed in the middle of the forehead. Like before, clean the site with alcohol, abrade the skin, and place the electrode firmly on the site. It's important to check that all pairs of electrodes have sufficiently low impedance to ensure quality data collection. For each site, there are three pairs, the electrodes along the muscle itself and each of them with the ground electrode. To check impedance, take the touchproof connector on the electrode and plug it into one of the ports on the meter. Take the second electrode connector and plug it into the second port. On this particular meter, I need to set it to contact measurement mode. All pairs should have an impedance of under 5 kilo ohms. Impedances will drop over time as the conductive gel is absorbed into the skin. If impedances are under 20 kilo ohms, leave them for a bit and check again later. If the impedance is much over 20 kilo ohms, it's likely that the site was not properly abraded or the electrode was not well placed. You should remove the sensors and try again. Now we will place the electrodes to measure the corrugator. Ask the subject to pull the corners of their eyebrows together and down toward the nose. Watch where the muscles are activated along the brow line. The first electrode goes at the inside arch of the eyebrow, and the second electrode goes a collar width apart lower along the muscle line toward the nose. Much in the same way as zygomaticus, I have placed the electrodes on the previously mentioned sites. Remember that it's important to angle the electrode wires in such a way that they aren't an annoyance for the subject. At this point, you need to check the impedance of the three electrode pairs associated with corrugator. The final muscle we're going to measure is the abicularis. First, clean the site with alcohol, being careful not to get it in the subject's eyes. Ask the subject to look straight ahead at a stable point. One electrode is going to go on either side of the iris, about a collar width below the lower eyelid. Using the same method, I've placed these two electrodes and checked to ensure all pairs of electrodes have sufficiently low impedance. Now we need to plug the electrodes into the data acquisition hardware, such as the Bionex or Myra Mobile. In this case, I'm using a Bionex. First, plug the electrodes into the subject harness. There are color-coded pairs in the harness. Ensure that each pair of electrodes associated with each site goes into the same color input on the subject harness. Be sure to grab the electrode by the touchproof connector as to not damage the wire. Black corresponds to the ground. Next, take the other end of the subject harness and plug it into the module being used for data recording, typically a three or four channel module. Now you're ready to begin data collection. EMG electrodes should immediately be washed with soap and water after each use as the electrolyte gel used during EMG collection is water soluble. Cleaning the electrodes with alcohol will result in smearing which can build up within the electrode and speed up corrosion. We recommend keeping a container of tap or distilled water in the lab. After each experiment, soak the electrode in a cup of water for up to 90 minutes. Following the soak, it's best to wash the electrodes with a liquid dish soap or electrode cleaning spray. A cotton tip applicator can be used to scrub the inside of the cap.
After the electrodes have been thoroughly cleaned, place them out to dry. It's important that the electrodes are completely dry before the next experiment. That concludes our presentation on collecting facial EMG. Even more so than with other measures, it's critical that you become proficient at applying the sensors for several reasons. First, site preparation is complicated, and it can be tricky to obtain the desired impedance measurements. Secondly, subjects are going to be uncomfortable having sensors placed on their face. So the better you are at it, and the more practiced you are, the more comfortable your subject is going to be. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our support site for additional training materials.